12 News is your local election headquarters as a high-profile candidate jumps into the race for Rhode Island Governor. Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea formally announcing today that she will seek the Democratic nomination in 2022. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi broke the news of Gorbea's announcement last night on WPRI.com. He joins us live now. Ted, have to think there are some people watching this today saying, already? <laughs> Talking yeah. campaigns already here. Yeah, Brian, that's understandable if so. I mean, Rhode Island's gubernatorial primary isn't until September of 2022, which is nearly 16 months from now. But clearly, Nellie Gorbea and her campaign advisors felt it was better to just rip off the Band-Aid and start officially running, since everyone already expected her to do so anyway. And now they can start to fundraise and line up supporters officially with her in the race. And Ted, this morning, our colleague Alexandra Leslie actually caught up with Gorbea to talk one-on-one -on -one about the announcement. Let's take a listen to some of what she had to say. I think that my track record uh, sets me apart from everybody else in the field. I am the one candidate that has really transformed a Rhode Island state government office in its variety of functions, in public facing functions, then made it work for people. You can hear there she's already trying to sort of set herself apart, put some dist distance between her and the others in what could be a very crowded field. Yeah, in fact, Kim Gorbea is actually the second Democrat to announce because Dr. Luis Daniel Munoz, who got about 2% in the last election for governor, has already gotten into the Democratic primary too. And of course, higher profile candidates are also looking at running General Treasurer Magaziner, Providence Mayor Elorza, and then of course there's Governor Dan McKee himself. He was always expected to run next year when he was Lieutenant Governor, but now he's running as an incumbent incumbent rather than for an open seat. Here's how McKee responded to reporters today when he was asked about Gorbea's announcement. She's in campaign mode. I don't want to be in campaign mode. I want to be working for the people in the state of Rhode Island right now and putting that effort in uh, until we, the time is right to uh, you know, open it up in another way. Now, of course, the upside of being the incumbent governor is just doing your job every day is a form of campaigning to keep it. So that's a luxury McKee has that rivals like Gorbea do not. And certainly a lot can happen and a lot can change in 16 months. Mm -hmm. And coming up at 530 today, our colleague Anita Buffoni talked to political analyst Joe Fleming about how announcing now could actually benefit Gorbea's candidacy. Ted Nisi, as always, thanks for being here. Good to be here.